Oh, again, everyone. The postman's just been. <laughs> and I've got some new stamps and dies. Sean the sheep. Um, two, <laughs> just Sean the sheep for various occasions. And one for Christmas. Fleece Navidad, that always makes me laugh. So when I looked at these, I thought I'm going to have a bit of fun with this lot. I just, they're just such, they are such fun. Anyway, this one, when I saw this stack of sheep like this doing a, a pyramid, I suddenly thought, how about making a card that's one of those fun fold things where you've got a tall bit and then some oopy doop bits. And so I just had a play and I came up with this. So what I was thinking was you could got some calculations here we could have those kind of going up there like that and then perhaps these two you could have that's um i don't know if you can see them that's those there have these two can you see that just sort of perhaps in this line here having a little walk along um so put, we'll put those there and then there's a there's a wall with a whole bunch of sheep peeking over the top and i thought that could kind of go let me just show you. At, at the back there, like that, you see? And then choose one of these sentiments. Sending love to you, or you are one of a kind, or from me to you. Put it on the front there. So perhaps a bit of grass stamped around it and whatever. Anyway, shall we have a go? I'll just show you how I did this. It, it's kind of... It's not the best, but it, it works. What I did was, so this is this is in centimetres, but for people in the States talking in inches, the basic principle is you have a length of card that is divisible by two evenly. Okay, that's easy peasy. But what you need to have is each part of that also divisible into twos. So this half is folded, that bit is halfway through it. And this one has just got one, two, three, four. It's, it's really simple. That's the basic principle. So I'll just show you on here. There's our sheet of paper. That's the halfway mark. This is actually halfway, but I didn't, didn't draw it evenly. Two lots of seven centimetres. And these are three and a half, three and a half, three and a half, three and a half, making up the 14 for each half of the, of the fold. I will draw a picture of this and put it at the end of the, at the end of the video. So you can see and look at the, look at the proportions, but that's the basic simple thing. So just let me show you how I went about doing this. I, I, you, you can use a craft knife and, um, you know, a straight edge. But I used one of those trimmers that you can lift up the blade and put it down in the middle of a piece of card. So looking at my um, picture, my diagram, the first thing I'm going to do, there's a fold straight across the middle. So I'm going to score across here at, have I shortened this to 20? No, I need to get this to 28 centimetres. Is this 28 centimetres? It's probably a bit longer than that. There's the 28 centimetres. Let's get it to 28 centimetres, which is divisible by two and by four. Okay, so there's my 28 centimetres. So I am now going to score it completely across in half. So that's on 14. So let's just get rid of the blade. And we will use the scoring blade. If you haven't got one of these with the scoring blade, you can just run your um, bone folder or whatever it is, or a scoring tool like one of these embossing, whatever, down, down to where the blade's just been. So there's my score for halfway. Okay, there's my halfway fold. So far... So good. I think I want to have this on the left hand side this time. Okay. I have got my halfway fold. So now I want to do a cut from there 
down to here, as far as there. And I'm going to have it five centimetres away from the left hand edge. So I'm going to put my card on the five centimetre mark. There we go. And my my um, cutting line is go to, going to start at three and a half centimetres and go up as far as seven centimetres from the top. Doesn't much way, matter which way round you do it. I could start, let me just put this scoring blade out of the way. I could start up here. Here's my seven centimetres and you get the, the, the middle of the scoring bl blade handle in line with the seven centimetres, push it in and I'm going to bring it back here to, as far as three and a half. So one, two, three and a half. It's going to be 24 and a half. Okay. 24 and a half. Okay. So that's the only cutting line I'm going to do. Right. Now I'm going to do my scoring lines. And this one is going to be on the seven centimetre mark. So I'm going to put it on to seven centimetres, bring my scorer, pop it onto that, that line there and score. Okay, now I'm going to do three and a half centimetres from this fold. There's my three, there's my three and a half from, from the score to the side. And again, another three and a half centimetres from the cut across. And the last one from the cut out to the edge. Okay. Now, if I've done this right, <laughs> it should fold up and the tall bit should be on the other side. Okay, that one has got to go down. This one has got to come up. And there we are. So then I can put my sheet on this side and the other things over there. So I'm just going to put that away for a minute. I've got a couple made there already. I'm going to start making some of the sheep. Right, here we've got some scrap so we can do a little bit of stamping. Let's get some blocks. Right, will that fit on there? Yes, it will. Okay. And we need a block for this one. Will that fit on there? Ooh, just about, just about. Right, and this one should fit on there. Okay, right, today I thought I would try some hybrid ink. We were talking about different inks the other day, uh, but a hybrid ink is supposed to be okay for watercolours and for alcohol marker so we we'll just see let's see how we go now this stamp hasn't been conditioned it's brand new as you saw straight out of the packet and it hasn't been stamped before and it doesn't look to me like it's going to do a brilliant job let me just turn this over to the flat side this is some old paper mill direct linen card i think but i'm doing it on the flat side let's see how we go it's not too bad and i've got some black mark on my fingers already good gracious me there we go i might i might try it with versifying clay i don't know it's not bad it isn't bad if i'd done it in the platform i could have stamped it again and we would have been fine, but I can always put some more black on the noses if I want to. Let's let's leave that for now, right? And the mummy and the baby one having a little little walk. Let's try these. Often I rub stamps onto my skin, and whether just some of the skin cells stick to it, but the glue, the um, ink does seem to. Um, adhere to the stamp far, far better. Look at these jaws out the side. <laughs> it makes me smile. Bless them. Okay. Now we have to put this one on this one here. I'm going to do it the same 
the same size. Let me just rub it on my skin first of all, see if it does make a difference. There's something in the manufacturer that sort of remains on the surface of these stamps and uh, first of all they just they just don't seem to uh, stamp as well as they do after they've been used a few times it's fun isn't it look at this let's try my new um markers came and I've spent ages putting them in order, trying to actually find them out of the big bag to put them in the, the shelves. See, that is better, isn't it? That is better than that, just because I rubbed it on my on my hand. Anyway, let's do just a little bit of colouring. Um, I only want a tiny bit of shadow on these, a um, bit of shading. I don't really think I want the, the sheet coloured. I'm going to leave them white. Took me ages to do this as well. Um, Deb very kindly sent me the the um, blank for this one. That is the one that's printed, and that is the the one I've coloured. Looks much more vibrant, doesn't it? But these pens are fatter than I'm used to. It's going to be interesting to have to get used to them, I think. So let's. Oh, they've got the shadow on the right hand side a bit. I always tend to put the shadow on my on the left. Never mind. I will. I'm sure I can manage. Um, let's put that there, Mo. Um, now to find one of these two, CGO20. Look at that, that. Excellent. Right, we'll try. We will try. Let's just do, I'm going to put my glasses on. Right. Let's have a little bit of uh, green for this lettuce. What should we have? It's hundreds of greens, aren't there? Absolutely, huh? The the inks themselves don't look the colour that they are on the on the cap. I think I'll give the the eyes a, a little a sort of. Um, a little bit of colour just to my oh one oh where's that I think they probably do need a little bit of colour actually so how about how about my oh one oh Yeah, that's got a bit more colour, hasn't it? That'll do. Right, if I don't put these back now, I won't be able to find where they go very easily, I think, because these racks that I've got are, um, they're kind of open. They've got a row where seven, seven um, pens will fit in one space. So if I don't put them back in the right place, it's going to be tricky. So I think that might do for that. Let me just see if we can cut it out. Let's find the, the die. Here's the bag of dies. How do we get into this? Oh, here we are. <laughs> oh, what fun. Right, get some tape. So this is the bit that's going to go kind of on here. So if we put it down at the bottom, um, we can put a bit of grass 
on there. I was going to have it on the other side. I was going to have it on this one, wasn't I? That one there. We'll see. I'll, I'll decorate that in, presently. Okay, now let's just do, let's do some more sheep. Let's try and do this, this wall, shall we? Where's the wall? Here it is. So we keep that handy, the sheep. Um, let's do the wall. Now the wall, I would suggest, is greyish. Let me just put those out of the way. WGO50 and WGO1. WG, I don't know where these things are. WGO50 and WGO1. Right, got them. WGO50 and WGO1. O1 is the darker, so we'll use that one first of all. Another lighter one. Could put a bit of green between. Let's get some green for the the grass and stuff. This is the one. Look at the difference. Yeah. Okay. Should have kept the same colours out for the for the sheep, hadn't they? So I will colour carry on and colour those and colour these, and then I will we'll start trying to assemble the card. So I've finished colouring and die cutting out those pieces. Um, I have stamped one of the sentiments from uh, this set it says from from me to you, and I thought I would just cut it out with this sort of sheep shaped die <laughs> oh dear and then we can just we're just going to pop them on um i think just simply I, i've spent a long time messing about with this but i just thought it'd be a bit of fun to do a fun fold i looked at this and looked at my uh, chart for distress inks and it seems that peel paint is quite a good match for that so i'm going to use some peel paint i'm just going to stamp a few little bits of grass along the bottom um, randomly kind of thing. And if you stamp and then stamp again without re-inking, you get different, you know, variances of colour, which is kind of nice. So let's just see if they're going to... St where's my... Here they are, my pyramid of... They can stand there like that. Let's just stick them on. Let me just stick them on. Uh, I'll stick them on with... No, I won't. I think I'll use a bit of glue. Here's my barely, barely, barely art. I don't know if everybody saw this. This is what uh, Dale in New York State made for me. A little stand to keep my ink up my ink my glue upside down so that it's always at the nib such a clever chap right we'll pop this 
this on. That there. Next, we'll put the, <laughs> the sheaf on the fence. I'll just put, cover that up before I put my hand in it. And we'll just put a bit of glue along the bottom of this one. I don't know how high up it's going to go. Let's just see. If we close it up, we can see. Whoops. See which bit shows. About to there, I would suggest. Okay. And then these, the lady in the little one can go in there. So just the bottom halves of them. This is a kind of a little bit rough and ready. I've, I have gone at it a little bit quickly, but I just wanted to kind of for you to get the idea of, of what you can do. There we go. Um, now we'll just try, is that going to be too big? Might be all right. Let's just cut this out. I might put a little bit of grass on this as well, just to uh, soften it up a little bit. Right, oh, that moved. Okay, went to an art lecture this morning, the Art Society, really, really interesting. The, the experts they get to, to speak about these things, just wonderful. From me to you, and I thought we'd put that about there. Do I want any grass on that? Maybe not, I'll just stick it on. I did it on the other side first of all. Okay. Is that going to show? There we go. <laughs> so there's our card. Hope you can see it. Um, it was a bit of fun. It was a bit of fun. But these these, <laughs> these stamps are brilliant, aren't they? Absolutely brilliant. I do need to get to know my um, markers, I have to say. These are uh, uh, hoo -hoo markers. Um, I was very fortunate to be able to buy the whole, well, a set 320 I think there are to me ages to sort them out um, but I have become an affiliate for this company they agreed to let me so if anybody does want to buy from this company if you just let me know I can give you a code and it would help me no pressure whatever but if you are going to or thinking of it then just ask us no harm even if you don't so thank you so much for watching i hope that uh, i'll be able to get rid of all the bits in this that were time consuming when i couldn't find a color that i wanted or whatever or whatever so um there we go from me to you have a lovely day thanks for watching so very much